Power, peace, purpose. Rabbi G from Kids Kicking Cancer with a message from our children. If you are a chronic pain sufferer, I'm sure you've heard the term, the pain is in your head. And that's usually taken to mean that if your head were okay, then you wouldn't have pain because the doctors haven't seen a picture of it perhaps and haven't noticed which bone is pressing against which nerve causing the pain. And sometimes we begin to doubt ourselves. Are we crazy? Do we want the pain? But the truth of the matter is, the pain is in your head. All pain is in our head. Pain has to be translated from our body into our brain and then back to the different places where we experience that pain. All pain is in your head. The good news is that when the more we can begin to understand that we can breathe through and begin to slowly take control and not be afraid of the pain, we can actually see in brain scans that the pain can begin to lessen. The more you take control over it, the lower the pain. And so in this series, we're going to learn from the children of Kids Kicking Cancer how to do our breath break, how to use the breath not to just be distracted from the pain, because that's a very formidable tactic that's used often, but we have a trademark on the term pain extraction. How you can learn from the children of kids kicking cancer, how to use the breath to actually make holes in the pain and to allow it to slowly, slowly lessen. The more you can take control and use your breath and relax your muscles, and blow out the pain, the greater your power. And if you can allow our children, only if this works for you, if you can allow our children to know that they're teaching you, they have less pain. Our children across the globe, in 90 facilities in seven countries, they yell out power, peace, purpose, that no matter what they face in their lives, they can bring in this energy and push out pain, fear, and anger. We ask the kids, what's your purpose, they yell, to teach the world. So by becoming their students, you help our kids. And by helping our children, you begin to reformat your own pain, God willing, in a way that slowly, slowly, with patience and focus, can allow you to breathe in the light and to blow out that darkness. Let's continue these lessons. Learn from our children. Stay tuned. Power, peace, purpose.